Hello friends, welcome back to Libby for Die channel and in today's video, I'll be talking about one of the most influential books of all times, Man Search for Meaning by Dr. Viktor Frankl. Now, this book will not just inspire or motivate you, but it will actually provoke you to think and analyze your life and it may help you to find the meaning or purpose of your life. So, without much ado, let's dive into the book review. So now Dr. Viktor Frankl was a psychiatrist and a Holocaust survivor. He had to spend three long years in Nazi concentration camps and he was robbed of all his material possessions like his manuscript, his clothes and even his bodily hairs. He along with others suffered a depression in human conditions, in human tortures, hunger, fatigue, long hard labors and disease and poor medical conditions. Uh, the inmates who were uh, kind of became, who became old or who were not fit for doing the hard labors were sent to gas chambers to die. Dr. Viktor Frankl said find the meaning in suffering and in your life and he quoted the famous psychiatrist Nietzsche here. He who has a why to live for can bear any how. So Dr. Frankel talked about two type of prisoners. They were one kind of prisoners who had lost all hopes of survival and the other kind of prisoners were still having a bit of hope that they would survive this or they would get freed someday. So most of the people who got, who survived the Holocaust were the people who had high hopes that you know, they would survive. And the most of the people who died in that Holocaust were the ones who actually had lost hopes. So he explained this by giving two examples. So one of the example that he gave was about his friend who got a dream that he would be free uh, from all this suffering on 30th of March but as the date approached he saw there's this no change in the circumstances and he was actually suffering from a disease called typhus and on 29th of March his uh, condition started deteriorating and on 30th of March he laid unconscious and on 31st of March he actually was dead so what happened to him that the resistance to fight the disease drastically reduced after he lost all his hopes. And the second example that he gave was of two inmates who wanted to commit suicide because they were suffering a lot and they planned the suicide but at the last moment they could not commit the suicide because both of them were having some kind of a goal in life. So one of the one of them was a scientist who uh, was doing a research work and wanted to publish some papers and some of the work was outstanding and he had dreamt of you know completing that work once he gets free and the other one was having a son who was in some other country and he had a hope that someday once everything will get over when this phase will get over he would be able to see his son so because they had some kind of a light at the end of tunnel and they could not commit suicide. Next Dr. Frankel said the suffering can cease to be suffering if it can find a meaning. In other words if we see suffering in a different perspective it can cease to be suffering and this was explained very beautifully through an example. So there was an old man who came to see Dr. Frankel and this man said that you know he is he has recently lost his wife and now he is very very depressed and he is very gloomy and he is not feeling good about it and uh, how to come out of the situation. So to which Dr. Frankel replied uh, what would happen if he would have died instead of his wife. So he said no that would have in a worst case than this because you know at least he is financially independent he can still take care of himself. But if he would have died before his wife, his wife would have suffered more because she was not financially independent. And with this different perspective, he realized that the, suf the suffering that he is going through is not actually that bad. And he thanked Dr. Frankel 
and he left his office. So next, Dr. Victor Frankl talked about unemployment neurosis. So what exactly is unemployment neurosis? So Dr. Victor Frankl did a study on some set of people who were actually unemployed. The people who were unemployed were having a lack, having a financial crisis. And not just a financial crisis, they were even having lack of self-worth and lack of self-esteem. So what it did was that same set of people were given some voluntary jobs without any money. So slowly and slowly they started getting happier and they came out of depression. So, so he concluded that it's not the money but it's a purpose of life that will derive your happiness and your success in life. So next Dr. Victor Frankl talked about how to live your life. So he said you should live your life as if you are living the life for the second time and for the first time you did it all wrong. Now for example if I ask you that if you have a choice to correct your past then definitely there would be certain decisions that you would be you would like to change in your life. So similarly when taking the decision in the future you must be extra cautious extra careful in making in the future choices so that we can make a better future for us. And since we all are seeking happiness and success in life let me read out few lines from the book. Don't aim at success. The more you aim at it and make it a target, the more you are going to miss it. For success like happiness can be cannot be pursued. It must ensue and it only does so as the unintended side effect of one's dedication to a cause greater than oneself or as the byproduct of one's surrender to a person other than oneself. Happiness must happen and the same holds for success. You have to let it happen by not caring about it. I want you to listen to what your conscious commands you to do and go and carry on it to on the best of the knowledge. Then you will live to see that in the long run, in the long run, I say success will follow you precisely because you had forgotten to think of it. So with these beautiful lines, we are coming to the end of this video and I hope you like this video. I will see you in the next video and till then, stay happy, stay calm, keep the faith. Goodbye.